Hello, my name's Wendy Lewis. I'm the Patient Experience and Engagement Lead at Aqua. Um, the aims of the day is to get some conversation going. We've got some really good national speakers coming to share their information and their vision for the future with us. So we really hope that through this video you'll be able to see what it is that you might be able to contribute to, tell us about your successes, but also would really like to, you to get involved and join us within this Patient Experience Network. I think networks like this, this Aqua network, around connecting people, bringing people together who have different experiences in the healthcare system are really important so that we start to have a different conversation. We're not just talking to the people who are our friends, but we talk to the people who don't get it yet. So I'd like to see Aqua's network connecting with specialised networks and the clinical networks to make sure that we have a shared conversation around how we make change happen. Yeah, what we've heard today is something that we've, we've probably all been doing for a long time, which is about engaging with patients, working with forums, look, going out into the community. But there's also a few new snippets in there, especially about social media. And I think this is the growing area of actually engaging and, and communicating with patients and allowing that two-way flow of information. So for me, it's about sort of listening to what's new and sort of picking up on that and sort of going back to the organisation and talking to our teams and seeing what we can best do with it. I want to bring together a group of people into the organisation to work with us, to support us in the work streams that we're doing and to challenge us. Well, it's been great because we've heard about the um, national pictures being set by NHS England um, and it's great because that's going to really inform um, a, an experience vision event that we're doing at the end of the um, month in the organisation um, and it's also been great to network and hear about what other um, colleagues and, and peers are doing in, in other areas because again that can inform our, our learning and how we progress. There's a lot of no networks around now. Uh, I can remember when networking was really very, very new. Um, and I think there needs to be a conscious effort to uh, not just work in your own network. I think you need to make very strong contacts with other networks within the NHS in particular, but also with some of the patient networks in the area. I find it really useful the, the time we've spent um, having um, discussions on the table and the opportunity on our table we've done it regionally so we've had um, um, been able to have informal conversations where providers, commissioners and a real range of people have been able to um, talk about how we can progress and, and, and together drive forward uh, the experience network. Patient experience is about people so it's not policies it can be you know we, we, we make this more complicated uh, than it should be it's not about guidance, it's not about, you know, we wait for NHS England or whoever. This is about how we care for people, how we treat people uh, locally. So I think it is about what we do. It's about staff, it's about staff attitudes, behaviours, and how we make sure that we're all uh, on, singing from the same hymn sheet. I think it's quite important to look more at uh, bringing more people and patients and family members and carers along, because those are definitely missing from the event today. Um, and also probably looking more at problem solving because people have got definite ideas that they're doing things, some things aren't working for them and it's not much chance to disseminate why they're not working and how they might solve those problems. It's been a useful event today, lots of ideas about what do we mean when we talk about experience? It's a big, big ocean to go fishing in and we've narrowed it down to how we involve people staff and patients, service users, carers, family members, let's just call them people, 
to participate in their healthcare, in improving it and engaging in it more. Um, so I think we've got some real food for thought for the North West and for Aqua members and looking forward now to working out which masterclasses we're going to put on and what our new, um, our next meetings are going to be like. So thank everybody for um, being involved. Thank you.